Everyone tells us to think long term. Study more now so you can have fun later in life. Save all your money now so you can invest it and be financially free when you retire. Struggle now so you don't have to struggle later. Many of our goals and ambitions are most likely rooted in things that may take months, years, or even decades to achieve, like your dream house, a suitable partner, your dream career. Looking at a list of our most desired goals, few of them may come to fruition next week, much less tonight. Unfortunately, life can occasionally put us in situations where this type of long-term hopeful thinking isn't possible. The future seems uncertain. For example, you and your partner have broken up on negative terms, dealing with the passing of a loved one, having a mental or physical health crisis, or something as simple as falling ill. From here, you don't know when you will get better, much less when you will feel better. It's unclear when you're going to feel like yourself again, if you even will at all. When someone asks you how you're doing, one answer seems to fit above all. I'm taking it one day at a time. The definition of taking things one day at a time according to the Merriam-Webster Dictionary. To deal with each day's problems as they come instead of worrying about the future. I eat very random breakfast. I honestly just eat whatever I feel like it. Um, so I'm having these donut peaches and then after some nan bread and then this weird kind of salad thing with um, bell peppers, feta, and like shrimp. Questionable, but I promise it tastes good. And then also congee, which is like a Chinese bean and rice soup. Okay, now I'm gonna do some planning and some journaling for the week since it's Monday. I've recently been extremely sick, honestly more sick than I've ever been in my life. You kind of don't appreciate what you have until it's gone. For example, the ability to breathe through your nose because it's not all stuffy, being able to fall asleep for more than 15 minutes at a time, and being able to work out because your body isn't aching and weak. The fact is, there was nothing I could do but take things one day at a time. The work was piling up, another upload date was missed, and my new summer goals were out the window. Of course, when the only thing you can do is lay in bed, it's hard not to dwell on the past and what could have been, as well as daydreaming about a distant future where I would be finally happy. The fact is, every single human being, no matter how privileged, will go through unexpected rough patches in life. Time doesn't pause, nor will it speed up for anyone, and when unexpected tough times happen, we have to let each day pass as it will. Thank you so much to Pear Eyewear for sponsoring today's video. Not only do they offer prescription, non-prescription, and blue light glasses, which is the one that I got, they also have what's called top frames, where you can completely change the look of your glasses. I've honestly never seen glasses where you can change like this and I like it because glasses can be expensive and it can also be a huge part of your outfit and your look and your accessories so being able to change the top frame like this is super easy and affordable the base pair is only $60 for prescription glasses and then each of the top frames are only $25 so not only do they have different 
different colors of top frames but they also have sunglasses version also they have multiple different styles not only this style which is the casper but i think this one's super cute there's over 650 top frame options and they have free shipping to the us and canada you can return it within 30 days with no questions asked in order for you to try it out and find your perfect pair if you're interested in pair eyewear you can click the link in the description for 15 percent off your first order thank you so much to pair and my new glasses for sponsoring today's video just too fast but i really want to make the conversation last so we'll start off slow with something really simple like hey I love watching my fans videos. I feel like she always has so much energy all the time and she always gives off such positive vibes and every time I watch her it just brings a smile to my face. You pick me up whether on those trains or when I felt low running through streets like taxi. Everyone agrees it's important to live life in the moment. But the problem is how, says Alan Langer, a psychologist at Harvard and the author of Mindfulness. When people are not in the moment, they're not there to know that they're not there. It actually takes practice and intentionality to break the habit of ruminating on the past and obsessing about the future. Journal. Dump out your thoughts and worries as well as your aspirations and desires. I love journaling because I can truly let myself feel without judgment. It's a great way to check in with yourself and see how you're doing. How you're really doing. Redirect attention to your senses. This could be while you're eating a pastry, taking a shower, or basking in the sun. You could be savoring a success or savoring music, explains Sanja Lyubermiski, a psychologist at the University of California at Riverside and author of the How to Happiness book. When I was sick, I was hyper aware of my sense of smell because I couldn't breathe properly. When I was in the shower with the steam, I loved the feeling of the warm water on my skin on top of my aching muscles and opening up my sinuses. Okay, so I'm done finally tidying up my room. It feels so good to finally have everything clean and in order. I'm gonna do some work now, which is boring, but I'll see you when I go to Pilates at the gym. All right, I'm all ready to go to Pilates now. I didn't want to do anything strenuous yet because of how I'm feeling and stuff, and I'm still like recovering, but I think Pilates would be perfect to stretch and like get my achy muscles to move. Don't attach your self worth to the fulfillment of your long term goals. Having ambitious goals is extremely important. It's when our whole self-worth and gratification is attached to some single moment that is so far removed into the future that can be toxic. Unfortunately, not everything will go as planned. Not anything in the future is guaranteed. So you think of me when you go back to It's a lot later. Um after I went to Pilates, I just came home and ate dinner and then afterwards I went to Walmart to pick up some like hair gel so I could get that clean girl aesthetic look. <laughs> um, and also some snacks that were on sale, but now I'm going to shower. Good new my nighttime routine. We know where we want to be next year and in five years and in 10 years, but we focus our attention on today. 
focus our actions on today. Do what we can do today because that is the only phase of time that you can control. next video good night bye i keep you waiting always complaining but i feel so complacent never repay your pain